Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna take you along on a few days of eating and also show you a bit of what I do. Sorry for that abrupt start this morning. You saw my breakfast and then my initial thought was to film this whole day, but another things uh, came away, like we are selling the carpet in the bedroom, for example. So we had to like remove the carpet and the tape on the floor. Anyways, here I am and the time is almost 5 p.m. Today is like a prep day, it is Sunday. And one of the prep things I'm gonna do is to freeze these bananas. They are starting to be like very ripe, almost too ripe. But they are perfect for banana ice cream or smoothie bowls. And a great hack is to buy bananas in bulk and then wait for them to get ripe. Freeze them and then you always have bananas ready for smoothies. It's perfect. You need a freeze box. And I have a little special banana freeze box. I always get questions. This is from Ikea. It is like glass box. I'm actually not really sure if you should like freeze glass boxes. This one has lasted for a year, so pretty sure it works. Update, you may need more than one box. So this is my third box. It is time for dinner. I'm gonna make spring rolls and uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm sorry for the bad lightning because it is such a strange weather. So it's very dark in here. Basically you just simmer tempe with tamari. Then it is going into the oven. And then I'm going to cook some glass noodles or cellophane noodles and I'm gonna chop some veggies and make a dressing. <laughs> Grab a rice paper. I love using these small ones. Dip it in water. I like starting with adding fresh lettuce. I'm using romaine lettuce. Then some glass noodles. You can basically just use like whatever veggies you like. These are like the perfect mix, I think. So red cabbage, bell pepper. Then we usually also have cucumber, but we didn't have any. So I'm using carrot instead. Coriander, then the tempe, and now we just roll. Someone asked me in the latest video what my favorite uh, vegan protein source is. Tempe is my favorite protein source because, I don't know, it's so versatile and it just have a nice flavor and you can do so much with it. You can marinate it, you can bake it in the oven or do as I did today, have it in spring rolls. And tempe has a lot more fiber than tofu, so it's more filling. I think it's higher protein as well. Anyways, we're gonna have our date night and um, yeah.
having the leftovers from yesterday dinner for lunch. As I've told you like many times before, I almost always make sure that we have leftovers for lunch. That way I don't have to be in the kitchen like all the time. So there are chickpeas, aubergine, coconut milk, some lemon juice, and curry powder and some green peas actually. You will have to live with the mess behind me all the time because we are constantly packing. So today uh, I'm gonna film a YouTube video which is exactly what I do now but I'm gonna film two. The YouTube video I'm gonna film is already out. It is the four summer breakfast ideas. I will take you along like behind the scenes so that you can see how it is to film. A food user video. I don't know if it's interesting, hopefully. So I'm gonna have this lunch, then I will start filming and you will get to see how it is to film a how-to video. Okay, since the how-to videos are more educational, I like to write out the key points so that I know that I remember talk about everything. Then Pontus is also gonna come and help filming this how-to video. So the outline of the video is done. Here I have prepped all the ingredients for the recipes. That way I can just like, I know where to get things. This is uh, not something you see in the video, so we will only film like here. If you are tired of smoothies, of oatmeal, or just want some new... First recipe done. I'm already sweating. My plan was to like be all done in two hours, but it has already been one hour and uh, we have three more recipes to go. <laughs> Okay, that was the third recipe, but we're not quite like done because the two first recipes are in the fridge and they are firming up while we wait. I am gonna feast on these as a snack. This one is so creamy. Summary, thanks to the lemon. Um, so if you haven't watched the, my previous video, go and watch that because you can't miss. I know from when I watch other YouTubers do YouTube videos, it looks like easy, uh, but it isn't. I'm sweating like crazy. And hopefully we're done in one hour. I thought filming four recipes, as, as I said, but we just couldn't do it. It would have taken like more, two more hours. But since this video comes after, and maybe you want to see all of my four breakfast recipes, I will do the fourth recipe for tonight's dinner, because it is a savory recipe. So you are gonna see it anyway. Now I'm going to show you the breakfast recipe number four, aka our dinner. If I'm lisping, <laughs> which I do, it is because I have put in my Invisaligns. Usually take them out when I'm gonna film. Anyways, let's make some burritos. I have already prepped the sweet potatoes, so I just cut them in like pieces, add them to a baking tray, cover with parchment paper, add some salt, then I bake them in the oven for about 30 minutes on 200 celsius degrees. And I have already sauteed some garlic, a can of uh, black beans, and also some spices, uh, I can um, write the recipe down below. And some corn kernels. If you don't want to cook with oil, a good tip is to just add some water until it almost covers. Make it simmer so that all of the spices soaks in. And uh, yeah, this works actually very well. While the beans were simmering with the spices, I have chopped up some uh, bell pepper and some coriander. And now I'm just mashing up some uh, avocado. Then we're just gonna roll it up into a burrito.
morning. Today it is Wednesday, 8 a.m. And today I'm extra, extra happy because one, it is such a beautiful weather. It is a nice summer day. Second reason why I'm extra happy today is because I'm going on a massage later. I'm waiting for it now. Pontus is already there. And the third reason is that earlier this morning went through some comments on YouTube, which I usually do in the morning. So I read this comment about um, a girl telling me that she really was inspired by my healthy lifestyle and my recipes and actually looked up to me as a person. And that like really, that means so much when I read nice comments like that, that you are inspired by me because that is like the only reason why I in the beginning started my Instagram account, started this YouTube channel because when I started eating a um, plant-based diet like five years ago, I felt like shit and I just had to do something uh, and now I feel so amazing and I'm thriving and I just want you to feel the same. So that is the whole reason why I do this. So to have someone say that they are inspired by me and my lifestyle and like my recipes, it just hits right here in my heart and um, I'm getting moved. <laughs> um, and coming from a from a tough like teenager years when I was not looked up to, I was rather looked down on. To say to have someone say that they look up to me means so so much. And I don't think we say like enough compliments or good comments in this world. So I'm gonna say to you that you are amazing. I love you and um, whatever you are going through, you can do this and um, yeah. Be kind to one another. Okay, that was my little rant. <laughs> um, the time is almost, uh, it is past 8 a.m. I'm going to do some work and wait for Pontus to come home and do some breakfast and then I'm going to get myself massaged. Can't wait. I remember that I have the breakfast from yesterday's video. You cannot get a creamier pudding than this. Done. That was one of the best I've had. I went to a Thai massage. You know what I remembered when I was laying there? That I didn't show you the banana bread, but there is a reason for it. Because when I did it, it all seemed good and it came out really like pretty and fluffy. But then, as the time passed, it just ended up like... So it sank. I googled, apparently, baking powder can expire sooner than what it says on the package. So I bought a new one. I'm gonna make a banana bread again because today Ponto's sister and her little baby Ines comes over and Ines loves banana bread. So of course I'm gonna make some banana bread.